What is the solution I spray on these hooves? Now, let's see if you guys can guess. I'm gonna give you a little hint. Woo! Let me know, drop your comments. Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Hoof Talk. Today, we're diving in to last week's questions on this ginormous bull who had a pretty major issue on his, well, both his front feet. You spotted some little details, asked some great questions. So let's get into this video. I'm Keep Cows Moving, let's go. Right, now this is a great question. Why is it called the white line? Now, imagine this block, it's a cow's hoof. And this bit of card is the wall of the hoof, see? Now the white line keeps the hoof and the wall all attached. So when it gets damaged, that white line turns black. You can see the stress in it. And when it gets damaged, it will break apart from where it should be tight. It's not particularly easy to do, but I'm sure you can see. And I have explained this in a video before, so it will just break apart and the white line then gets seriously damaged. So it's called the white line because when it's not under any stress, any issues, it's white. But yeah, it goes black when it's under stress, which is a great little observation, really. I've never really thought about it, but yeah. It's an interesting point and an interesting take. We also touch on, does this happen to cows that live on grass? Now, this is a grass rat. This cow, she goes out to the field, she comes into milk, she goes back out to the field and she'll do that for 200 days of the year. The question you probably should be asking is, would this happen if she was a house cow? That may be more of the question because when the cows on this farm are in in the winter, we don't see these issues. When they're out in the summer, we do. But white line comes from twisting and turning. So when they're turning, they're just putting stress on the outside wall. And that is why we get white line. Right. Comment number two. So this comment talks about the hilly terrain. Now it is very hilly, which is never ideal for big old animals, but no, I can't imagine this, but not to be on both front feet. They're coming out of the parlor on this farm and the bulls will go through the parlor too. They'll go in, they might have a bit of cake, which again, isn't good for bulls. We don't want bulls eating too much. They're not milking. They don't need that high protein diet, but they are turning two sharp turns on pretty rough concrete. Now I would imagine, rough's the wrong word, but it's just not worn down yet. Now I would imagine this bull has been serving cows, riding on cows on this concrete, getting all excited, pushing his hooves around, pushing his feet around and cause this separation. Now that separation, it wouldn't be able to cause the slurry getting in. That wouldn't cause the white line. The white line would have just been stress over time, dirt, stones, debris, it all gets in there and causes these issues. Now, yeah, me too. I want to see a recheck. I want to see if this boy is any closer to healing up because it was a pretty savage issue. It's hard wearing concrete. I'm not sure my wood blocks are going to hold on just because I would imagine they're going to be worn down within three weeks. So fingers crossed we're seeing him pretty soon. Let's get on to comment number three. Get some of the biodegradable wraps. Now, I run only biodegradable wraps. I don't run the um, plastic biodegradable. I run the inch care ones. Now, they still have to be taken off. They have to be taken off after a few days. They biodegraded down after six weeks. But the one thing you've got to remember is that old fashioned wraps, just in the agricultural industry alone, they reckon we use 15 million a year worldwide or it might just just agriculture in general that must include equine i would imagine but 15 million plastic wraps a year now we use biodegradable wraps they come in biodegradable boxes and they are brilliant and like i say they are inch care wraps i've used them for years they're the best wrap on the market now i could get some of the i do a plastic one oh it's bugging me zimpro zimpro plastic wraps now i have used them the problem with them is my appleton the cupboards don't keep the water out that well 
So a biodegradable wrap that's plastic is gone. They're very expensive. So I leave them in the cupboards, they just biodegrade away. So yeah, we don't use them very often, but they in this situation would probably have been the best thing to use, but we've sprayed it. He's going out into a nice clean field. I'm not too worried about wrapping it. They get a foot bath. They're just putting in a brand new foot bath. So I'm not worried about that hoof being wrapped. He's in a clean environment. All is good, right? Comment number four. <laughs> this is a good comment actually. Why do I call it a shoot? Why don't I call it a crash? Now, I think I call it a shoot just because when I talk to the Americans and most of the Americans are the ones running these Appletons, they call it a shoot. So I'm, I'm just in the habit of doing it. Most of my following is American. That's probably why. But yeah, when I'm talking to my British friends, I would probably call it a crash. <laughs> but yeah, most of the Americans call it a shoot. So that is the main reason why I would say, oh, just gonna do something in the shoot. But yeah, all the Brits do call it a crash. The Americans call it a shoot. But as this is an American crash or an American shoot, I'm sure you can let me off on that one. <laughs> but yeah, that good observation. Very, very good observation. Right, let's get on to the last comment. Number five. What is the solution I spray on these hooves? Now, let's see if you guys can guess. I'm gonna give you a little hint. Whew. Right, let me know, drop your comments. So, if you wanna see this week's trim, we trimmed a cow with a rather serious sole ulcer. Now, it was an ulcer, it was a fracture, and she is going to need a lot of TLC to get better. So the link will be in the description. If you want to see her trim, click the link, get on, watch this video, let me know what you think. We're trying to make as much content as possible for you guys. And we can't do it if you're not watching and we appreciate all of you guys watching. So thank you for watching this week's Hoof Talk. Don't forget, smash that subscribe and we will catch you on next week's video. Let's go.